I'm just wondering, I see your videotape in the, the yeah. shop here. Do you What's... not step up on me like that? Oh, that's real professional. Let the fun begin. What am I recording for? I have uh, CRS syndrome. I don't know if you know what that is. I'm not familiar. It's can't remember. Uh, I'm going to call the, the Brattleboro police and okay. have a conversation with yeah. them. Yeah, I'll dismiss them just like I'm dismissing you. Brattleboro dispatch, this is Kelsey. Um, hi, my name is I work at GS Precision, and we've got a guy that's outside um, on John Sites Drive, and he's been filming the uh, the vehicles in the parking lot. They are requesting a trespass on a male who's taking pictures of the vehicles and the people on the property. Subject is still on the property. Can I get your name, badge number? Can I get your name? Yeah, it's right here. Right here? Yeah, you? what's your name? What's going on, everyone? This is Press NH now over here today in Brattleboro, Vermont, over at the GS Precision Manufacturing Company. GS Precision Manufacturing is a aerial space and defense contractor for the military and local government. This plant uh, also has a school right up the street here for manufacturing these products. Also, get federally funded uh, grants with several uh, federal contracts. So our taxes do um, go into this place, just so you're aware. Today's date is March 23rd, 2022. Please make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all of your support. Also check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button, let all your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England area. Always check your description. Donations are greatly appreciated. They do help me continue my activism in and around the New England area. We're gonna get right to it here, guys. Enjoy the video. How you doing? Good, Good you? Good, thanks. What are you doing? Uh, it's self-evident, man. I'm just recording. Oh. Yeah. What are you recording for? I'm sorry? What are you recording for? What am I recording for? I have uh, CRS syndrome. So I don't know if you know what that is. I'm not familiar. It's can't remember yeah. So I can't remember Gotcha. So yeah, I just record everything I see, you know, that I come across. Alright. Yeah. Who are you? Uh, David. Who? Position or? Um, I work at GS Precision in the HR branch. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, I just didn't know if there was anything you needed help with or if there was... I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Everything all right or...? Yeah, no, it, it, I just normally I don't see somebody out here recording yeah. uh, and I didn't know if there was something needed or... Yeah, no. I mean, you have an HR office. I'm sure you have a website and a phone number. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. If I need any... If I have any questions, I'll definitely ask you. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Yep. So he works in HR. There's your huddle. He told me he can't remember. 
I don't know what that means. We should probably call the police and get him hemmed up for not committing any crimes. Hopefully they don't act like they did over at GE Aviation. Go check out that video. That went pretty viral, fairly quick. Almost getting run over by a car. Also dirt bike. Link will be in the description. Hopefully they don't act like that over here. We'll see. Okay. Oh, that's real professional. Let the fun begin, huh? And these guys are making defense products for the military and aviation and aerospace products. These are the people that they hire. Good, you? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. What do you mean, what's going on? Well, I'm just wondering. I see your videotape in the, the yeah. shop here. Yeah, you what's... not step up on me like that? Oh, well, I was kind of questioning what you're doing with your with your camera. Okay. Can you, can you well, it's pretty self-evident I'm recording. Yeah, for what reason? I don't need to give you that reason. I'm just doing a project. Uh, who are you? I don't need to give you that information. All right, so well, you want to ask questions, but you don't want to answer I was them, right? I'm hoping for answers, and you're not offering Yeah, well, answers. me too. So it works both ways, doesn't it? Can I help you? Help me help you? Dispatch 6 eight. Does that make any sense? No? It doesn't, right? What? Exactly. What I would like to have you do is move along from this private business. Oh, really? That's not going to happen. This is a public okay, roadway. It's unoccupied. You can just so. clear for now. We'll follow over that later. I'm not on your property, so you don't tell me what to do, bud. Oh, I asked you, actually. You could ask me, yeah. You I could ask, ask me anything you want. It doesn't mean I have to comply or even do what you're telling me to do. I don't know who you think you are, but you didn't even tell me who you are, so that doesn't even matter. I don't even know if you work here. You could be trespassing on private property for all I know. You want to take your sunglasses off so I can see your uh, emotions and expression? You should probably go back on your property and do your job. I'll stay on mine. You know, you're a very angry person. I'm not I'm angry not at sure all. sure what your issue is. I don't have an issue. Um, but I'm going to call the, the Brattleboro police and okay. have a conversation with yeah. them. Yeah, I'll this. dismiss them just like I'm dismissing you. You want my first name or... So you can give it to the PD? I don't know why people feel entitled for me to answer their questions. And at the same time, they don't want to answer theirs that I asked them, so... We're at a standstill. Brad, this is Kelsey. Um, hi, my name is Bill and I work at GS Precision. And we've got a guy that's outside um, on John Sites Drive and he's been filming the uh, the vehicles in the parking lot and people coming in and out of the building. Um, I went out and I talked to him and he, um, I, he didn't disclose why he was filming anything or why he was filming our employees. Okay. I don't know if there's a way that you can have somebody drive by and ask him to, to move along. Okay, do you want to trespass from the property? Um, sure, yes, please. Okay. Is is he still currently on the property? Yeah, he he's he's not so he's on John State's Drive, so he's just outside of our okay. our um property right now. Okay. And what's your date of birth? And how do you spell your last name? Okay. Do you have a description of the man? Um, yeah, I would say he's probably mid 
early to mid 30s, um, 5'10", uh, Caucasian. It's got a uh, black vest on and blue sweatshirt right now. There's another GS Precision employee out talking to him right now. Okay. Okay. I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Bye. Can you handle 101 John State Drive and GS Precision? They are requesting a trespass on a male who's taking pictures of the vehicles and the people on the property. Subject is still on the property, last seen on John Bates Drive. He is wearing a black vest and a blue sweatshirt. A white male, about mid 35. Okay. There's the call. So now we'll wait for them to come and see what they have to say. Trespass from the property, even though I'm not on it. Imagine that. I bet you they didn't even ask on dispatch. We'll wait to see what they have to say and go from there. See you then. Here comes Brattleboro PD. Unless it's the sheriff's, I think it's Brattleboro PD. Yeah, of course he's not gonna go. I'm sure, he's not gonna call the reporting party. All units fire and EMS going mutually to the town of Putney for building fire. Oh, is he actually gonna go into a parking space? Yeah. Well, at least it's one unit for now. Yeah, they should probably call the reporting party first, but they never do. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So obviously you're not happy with GSP for some reason? I'm not happy with them? Why, is that what they said? Well, they're calling and saying that you were on their property. They said I was actually on the property? Right. Wow, that's a false report. You should probably go arrest them. I don't, I don't know what the deal is, but I don't, why is he filming? Who is this guy? Yeah, I don't know why you feel entitled for me to answer any questions. I'm on a public sidewalk. Ah, uh, we'll sort it out. Yeah. Yeah, so they actually said I was on the property, huh? That's the impression. Wow, that's bull****. They have cameras. You should probably go check and make a false report for that because now the police are here to enforce a trespassing that never existed. And I have video evidence too, so... So you've been here the whole time. Well, I mean, I don't really answer questions, but they're going against... Uh, they're lying to you. They usually do to get a response from you. Because if they don't lie to you, then there's nothing to do, you know what I mean? So, can I get your name, badge number? Can I get your name? Yeah, it's right here. Right here? Is yeah, your what's your name? Well, it's Adam Petlock, right here. Petlock, you got Adam a badge Petlock. number, Petlock? Yep, I'm 1268. 1268, nice. Appreciate that. So that was a good try, though, you know, with the name thing. <laughs> well, all right. You so like that? <laughs> Yeah, I know a lot of ignorant cops say, you know, it's right here, or what's your name, and, you know, they don't want to answer me, so I kind of give it right back to you. I think I'm one of those ignorant cops. Uh, a little bit. All right. You're halfway there. We'll see how you end this. All right. Yeah. So, so you should probably go contact the reporting party first and then come see me, because I'm not committing any crimes. All right, well, you were standing right here, so that's why I came and talked to you. Maybe. Well, yeah, but you should go call um, them first, you I'm know, kind of observe, report, and then bounce. I'm, I'm going to talk to them. I just, I saw you standing here. They said there was a guy filming in their parking lot i saw a guy filming in, in their parking lot in, uh, huh wow the street here so i came over and talked to you i think that's pretty reasonable don't you uh i mean i think the proper response for the police for what i'm doing should go talk to the calling party to get their side first uh, and then come and see me but that's just my well, opinion you know you have your right to your opinion yeah i've been doing this a long time you know okay. so it's kind of backwards that's all so this is just something you're doing just like uh you're uh you're uh, one of the First Amendment. Uh, I mean, if you're aware of the, I mean, if you're aware of the First Amendment, that's great. You know, no. I really appreciate that. I mean, it's the oath you took, right, to protect it. So, yeah, look, I'm, I'm not here to give you a hard time. I'm just here. No, to, you'd be surprised. I, I got a call. Yeah, I know you got a call. You got to come, call, right? So I came down here. You know, the problem with dispatch, though, right, is that they should actually ask, has he been on the property, right? right and so and when they say question. when they say no, he hasn't. I heard dispatch. Okay, I, I know exactly what they said. But what I'm saying is that they should 
inform and ask the right questions. That's that's where it starts because now they said I was on the property, which now tells you on scene that I was actually on their property, which is private. All First right. First Amendment auditor. That's what it is. Okay. That's, that's what yeah. He's doing. yeah. All right. Yeah. You know, right. whatever. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that right. you know they they entice a call, okay, by giving you a false narrative on the report, and then you come here. And you have a different sense of what's actually going on without calling them first because I was never on that property. All right. And, and that's the big mistake that they're making to get you out here is that they're actually telling you a false report to get you out here. Because if the dispatch said, was he on your property? And they said, no, he has not been on our property. Guess what? They could say, well, call us back when he does and then we'll trespass him. Because that's when I'm breaking the law. You're law enforcement, man. Those are feelings that they're trying to enforce. Well, what? I mean... So, it just guess, doesn't make any sense. You don't answer questions, but let me just ask one You can ask, question. but it depends I, on, I, you know... I, I can't force you to answer questions. I appreciate that. Uh, but, uh, like, why why bother these people? Well, they're I'm not, not bothering anybody. I haven't said anything to anybody. You know, they come out here and they feel entitled for me to answer questions. They're federally funded, so they get grants and, and they have contracts with the federal government for military. That's where our funds go from. That's where they go to. That's why I'm doing this. Oh, well, I'm just, I just you know what I mean. Question. I'm just like, oh. But I mean, I'm not breaking any laws, man, and I'm not going on that property because I do know it's private. So that's right. self-explanatory, man. Well, well surely, surely you can understand why I came and talked to you. I'm just to a point. I mean, okay. usually, you know, a good audit would pretty much be observe, report, talk to the calling party, and leave. Yeah. You know, that's usually it's one, two, three, done. Well, as long as I'm not breaking the laws, there's really not much to say to me, right? Like I said, I saw you out here, so I came and talked to you. That's all I was I appreciate about. it. So, you got a card? Yeah, yeah. Do you? Sure. Awesome. You uh, just patrol or corporal or? Lieutenant. 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 Awesome. Corporal. Look at that. We're got short people, so. Are you really? Yeah. Well, you're pretty tall to me. <laughs> That's a good one, too. <laughs> all right. So you're two for two. You got the right here and you got that one. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, we, we're short people, so I end up on the road more than I normally would. What do you mean? Like, you guys are hiring for a new patrol or you just understaffed? I was understaffed. For what reason? Not a lawsuit, right? Nobody. Well, not a lot of people want to be police officers anymore. Well, there's. You should look into that, man. application in. No, no. Seems you should like you look into a lot of investigative work. I do. I do. We you know, use, I watch our use. government officials, you know, and make sure that they're doing the right, right job and you know, respecting our rights, man. That's all I'm doing. I can respect that. I can yeah, I appreciate it. That. Well, you should. I don't have a you know. With that. Yeah. You'd be surprised what I come across, man. Yeah. You know. Like, look, I'm. I'm not here to. I'm not here to give you a hard time. I just. Well, like I said, like I said, I appreciate the response that you've given me, you know, in respect to my rights, and uh, it doesn't usually go that way, so kudos to you, man. All right, I All right. appreciate it. All right, hey, but you have a good day. You too. Thank you. So that's Adam Petlock, lieutenant of the Brattleboro Police Department. And uh, information is all right there if you'd like to let him know how he responded to the scene. And uh, let's see if he goes to talk to the reporting party. Pretty professional. I give him a little kudos there. Gave him a little bit of a hard time at first, just because he didn't answer me with his name and ID number. So I gave him the old right ear. But uh, he laughed, he chuckled it, you know, and uh, See what he says. Just match the fame. There he is. Okay, good. Make contact with that gentleman. He is on John Flake Drive. He's not on the property. I'm going to make contact here. Attention is made. Tampa. Education in the works. There you go. I'll stick around for a little bit after he leaves and uh, show him that we're not being pushed out over here at GS Precision in Brattleboro, Vermont.
real professional. These are the people that are working on products for self-defense and aerospace for our government. And this is the way they act. That's real professional, dude. What about you? That's real professional. So there's Lieutenant Petlock, who did a fairly good job on this audit. Hey, Petlock, did you inform them that I was okay doing what I'm doing and so forth, so on, man? I did. Watch out. I did. Okay. Like what is it? I spoke with them. I okay. confirmed you weren't on the property. They want you trespassed. If you do enter the property, I told them I can't trespass you if you're not on the property. Exactly. And yeah. I well, I could, but I can't legally identify you yeah. until you touch base on the property. Yeah, and this is the line right here, man. I'm borderline right now, so I'm not, you know, we already talked, so yeah. I appreciate that, man. I really do. A lot of. I said I, I said I did not expect that you would enter their property, that you'll be on the road, and that. Yeah. There you go. That's uh, that's all that's needed, man. I think uh, I think it's been resolved. They were just concerned. They have they have a lot of women that walk out here. They see a guy with a hood, videotaping. They were just like they were just concerned for their employees. No, I got it. I got it, man. But you know, it's they just feel entitled, you know, for me to answer questions when I'm on a public sidewalk, and yeah. we don't have to give that information, you know. Yeah, I think it's just unusual. They weren't used to seeing it. Well, they are now, aren't they? But they understand the situation. I don't think we'll be abused. Awesome, Pellock. Be safe uh, out there, man. Professional. Yeah, Thank you, buddy. Right, uh, right here. <laughs> Have it going. There you go. Lieutenant Petlock, professional as always. As far as I know, anyway. And usually now they get pissed because I'm still here. Ha, Lieutenant said, all right there, mister, right here. But he understands my rights. No laws being broken. Educated the staff here at GS. Dispatch 6 eight. There he is. Let's listen. Hey, good. You can show me 24. Enter. There you go. Code tour 24. Cleared. I told you I'd dismiss him like I did with you. Bye, Snowflake. Boo-hoo! That was the guy that came out here. Feeling entitled to me answering his questions, so that's that. Is that for the HR department? Uh, All right, everyone. I think that's going to be it over here today in Brattleboro, Vermont at the GS Precision Manufacturing for Aerospace and Defense. The uh, HR department came out asking questions that I obviously didn't need to answer. Pretty self-evident uh, of what I'm doing. 
and uh, the lieutenant came out, Petlock, kudos to him. Very professional, informed the staff here that uh, I was allowed to do what I was doing and uh, was not trespassing me as they stated on the call on dispatch saying that I was on their property, which is a total lie. False report, if, uh, if you tell me. But anyway, I think that's going to be it over here today at GS Precision, Brattleboro, Vermont. Please make sure you go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all of your support. Also, check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button. Let all your friends and family know about my activism in and around the New England area. Always check the description. All links will be included. Donations are greatly appreciated. They do help me continue my activism in and around the New England area. We're going to end it off here. Appreciate all your continued support. Hit that like on your way out. See you in the comment section. Press an inch now.